soutenez la télévision SMA Tabo TV dans son œuvre d'évangélisation en envoyant vos différents dons par Timoney, Flows et sur nos différents comptes bancaires. N'oubliez surtout pas de vous abonner à nos différentes chaînes YouTube et Facebook. Likez, commentez et partagez nos différentes publications. SMA Tabo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire. to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Second week of Lent. The readings will be taken by Reverend Sister Mata Idoku, OLA, and commented by Reverend Father Divine Ahosu, SMA. A reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 5 to 10. The Lord says this. A curse on the man who puts his trust in man, who relies on sins of flesh, whose heart turns from the Lord. He is like dry scrum in the, in the wastelands. If good comes, he has no eyes for it. He settles in the parched places of the wilderness a salt land uninhabited, a blessing on the man who puts his trust in the Lord, with the Lord for his hope. He is like a tree by the waterside that throws its roots to the stream. When the heat comes, it feels no alarm. Its foliage stays green. It has no worries in the way of truth, and never ceases to bear fruit. The heart is more devious than any other thing. Perverse to who can pierce its secrets? I, the Lord, search to the heart. I probe the lions. To give each man what its conduct and its actions deserve. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsoria Sam. The response is Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his, has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of, of scholars. But whose delight is the Lord of the Lord, and who ponders his Lord day and night? Happy the man who has placed his, has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, 
that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. How be the man who has placed his, has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they like winnowed chaff shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his has placed his trust in the Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart Take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31. At that time, Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, full of sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes, and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me, and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them, from the dead they will repent. He said to him, If they do not hear, 
Moses and the prophets, neither would they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today I would like us to implore God's compassion upon ourselves because the readings are pointing out something which we do daily. That is, we fail to attend to the needs of one another. And when we acknowledge this, we need to ask for God's mercy. A friend artist once shared with us priests at a seminar that during his training as an artist, the one training him told him that whatever one draws as an artist, whether beautifully or otherwise, tells who or the kind of person the artist is. In other words, what is within the artist is what he or she brings out in drawing. That's to say, the fruit of the artist's drawing tells what is on his mind. This reminds us about Jesus' saying that what enters an individual does not make that person unclean. Rather, what comes out of the person does. By our fruits we shall be known. If God's Spirit dwells in us and guides us, we must bear good fruits. The first reading tells us a similar thing. God is reminding us through his prophet Jeremiah that we should trust him and trusting him is like a tree planted by the river whose roots stretch into the river and the tree always looks fresh, remains green and bears fruits always. Trusting the Lord we can bear good fruits and according to our fruits, we shall be rewarded. Again, Jesus says that for one to do anything meaningful or bears good fruits, and that the fruit may last longer, the person should abide in him. So God asking us to trust in him, God is all, all also inviting us to abide in him in order to bear good fruit. So our fruits tell the whole world who we are and the kind of Christians we are. They also tell people our source of inspiration and the kind of spirituality we uphold. Thus, we can be inspired by the Spirit. Thus, we cannot be inspired by the Spirit of the Lord and bear evil fruits. It is contradictory. However, that is what happens most of the time in our life. The Spirit of God is upon us, we claim, but we bear evil fruit, which is contradictory. Our fruits betray the Lord, and it is about time we did away with that and bear the right fruits of justice, kindness, peace and compassion. We should also bear the fruits of joy and happiness in places where there is sorrow, just as St. Francis of Assisi will put it. Lord, make me an instrument of peace, of love, of pardon, of faith, of hope, of light, and of joy, instead of instruments of violence, 
of injury, of doubt, of despair, of darkness, and of sadness. It is the good fruits that the rich man failed to bear in his relationship with Lazarus as we read it in the Holy Gospel. The rich man was not able to attend to Lazarus in his lifetime on earth. Nevertheless, he was seeking the assistance of Lazarus in the other world. He sought the help of Lazarus twice. First, that Lazarus should dip his finger in water and drop it on his tongue to cool down the burning heat that he was experiencing. And second, that Lazarus should go and preach to his five brothers on earth to repent. Dear people of God, we need to watch out the way we treat one another. This is because things may turn around to face us and we may find ourselves wanting. May the Lord forgive us all our shortcomings as we fail most of the time to bear good fruits. May this forgiveness come to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. La SMA Togo TV vous propose dès à présent ses services de reportage photo, vidéo pour vos différents événements. Mariage, anniversaire, concert, conférence et même les VF funèbres. Et ceci en soutien à la mission de l'évangélisation. Contactez-nous au numéro 90 89 77 87 97 99 82 68 ou par email media arrobase et c'est ma tv la première chaîne missionnaire.